it was a really hard time in my life last year, and I'm glad I can still talk to his family. I actually babysit his little brothers, and that's how we kind of got to know each other. But um, that's that. And the kids, last year, I mentored for a second grade classroom, and I became really close with the kids, and they, they inspired me to be someone that could help other people when in time of like need or whatever and they just they all adored me to no end and it made me feel really important and loved and they just they knew how to make my day when I'd go in there and especially this little Asian boy Sammy he every day wanted like a billion hugs and I actually saw him out going to the school bus here a few weeks ago and I started crying because I realized how much I missed being with him. And he has um, he has a lot to say when I raise him, so he's fine. This is some of my art. I could not put all the pictures of my art up here obviously, but I have like a stack of art stuff. Um, I don't know, art's kind of my escape and my release to be able to let go and just have fun with stuff. And I, one of my favorite ones is the one I drew myself. This is a few years ago, the picture that I took of myself from my space. And I drew, it was, it's not on here, but I drew a picture of Justin as well and gave it to him for Christmas and his birthday, because his birthday is on Christmas Eve. And that's also one of my favorites. And the tree one, I love painting and drawing trees. I don't know why, but I just do. And so that one's kind of important to me. This is a paleontology field study that I went on, as Chelsea had talked about previous. And it was so much fun. I recommend this trip to anybody if they still offer it. It's at first I didn't like I had no idea about it. Travis told me about it. And I went into the meeting, heard more about it. I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this. And I my family like struggles financially, so I was like, I really don't think I can afford it. Well I pulled through and did a lot of fundraising to be able to go on this trip and I'm so glad that I went. It was phenomenal. It was hot and sweaty and it was Sometimes at, we would cry, like even the guys, believe it or not, because we wanted to go home so bad. And digging out in that dirt for eight hours plus every day for a week straight is hard labor, and it was it was a really good time. Oh, and I actually found a site, a dinosaur dig site, and it, it's on the records now. I found a rib cage, part of a rib cage bone and part of Frill on a um, Triceratops, and they actually are putting it in a museum. I don't know if it's still there, but my name is on it that I found it. And that is me right there measuring the distances from when we found it. And I actually have these bones that I want to pass around that we got out there. I'll explain them first. This one is like a femur. I'm not sure exactly what dinosaur it was. But it's a very big bone. This is only one, a small chunk of it that I found when I was out there. They actually were going to keep it until they realized it wouldn't really give them much um, to be able to put in a museum because the whole part wasn't there. This is part of an old turtle shell that we found when we were out there. Out in, this, in these badlands, there are rivers that used to flow, and now it's part of the course, but a lot of the sh turtle shells from the rivers, rivers back thousands and thousands of years ago are still there. And believe it or not, this is like really, really old, of course, because of when the dinosaurs, I'm not exactly sure, I don't remember the exact amount of years it was. This is um, petrified wood, it's bark off of a tree. And we also made uh, molds of dinosaur skin when we were there, and <coughs> it, was, it was really fun. So I can pass these around. Just be really careful with this one. This is really valuable. So, so. This is my bedroom. 
bedroom. This is my closet. I actually went to Florida this year for spring break, and my dad put up the hangers for me because I had piles and piles of clothes in my room because I couldn't fit them all in my dress. And over here, as you can see, you can see kind of like writing on my walls. Well, the writing is quotes on my walls with chalk, and it's not any chalk paint or anything, but Eric actually did it in his room with just random people writing things on there. And I have quotes on there that mean a lot to me and kind of kind of help me get through the day sometimes. And I have friends that come over and really like the quotes because if they're having a rough time, it kind of makes you realize life isn't as bad as it might seem that day. And also over here is my huge king size bed. I just got it and I'm in love with it. <laughs> so. I can now not be crowded in my bed because Jenna hogs the bed every time she comes to my school. Um, my future, I am attending with Michigan Community College in the fall of 2011 this year. And I plan to transfer, not exactly sure where yet, but I want to major in pediatrics and minor in psychology. I love working with kids and I feel like I can I can do it. I have a lot of potential for myself, I believe, and I I'm just really strong with sticking to what I want to do. So, and that's me. Very complete. Here's what I suggest. Hey.